really didn't want hospice care. I felt you went to a hospice to die quietly. I'd had so many things I still wanted to do. When a hospice nurse came to see me at home, I was amazed by the choices I could make to help me live well for as long as possible. We visited the hospice and were surprised by how warm and welcoming it was. Not scary at all. We decided that hospice care was the best choice for me. When a hospice was mentioned, I worried it wasn't right for someone Tom's age because he had heart problems, not cancer. But I needn't have worried. We talked about the future. What if Tom got worse? A subject we'd never been able to talk about before. But it wasn't just right for Tom, it was right for the whole family. I had to talk about my worries, advice about benefits, even a massage. They knew what I was going through and how to help. For a few hours, I stopped being a carer and became a wife again. When my dad told me he was going into a hospice, I didn't know how I felt. But the staff at the hospice helped me to talk about my feelings and now I know it's okay not to be brave all the time. But I've met other teenagers like me and we talk about all sorts of stuff. Losing my partner Jane left a big hole in my life. She always loved the plants and nature. The hospice looked after her and now I look after the hospice gardens. I'm happy to volunteer and it helps me through difficult times. I knew that hospice care is provided for free, but I didn't realise that most hospices completely depend on donations from the public to keep them running. So I signed up to run a marathon. He's my best friend. I just wanted to help. Hospice UK is the national charity for hospice care. We support local hospices to provide care and support for more than 360,000 people each year. More than 220 local hospices care for adults and children across the UK. Every single day, local hospices across the UK have to raise £1.9 million to continue their care. Hospice care transforms lives. So can you. To discover how you can help, contact your local hospice or go to www.hospiceuk.org.